We have Colin here, Christian here, a D. We have Dominic, Sulm, Ashlyn. Hope you guys are ready for a fun day. All right. Good. All right. Senpai, Amy, can you please get them started with their student creed and their fun warm up, please? Yes, ma'am. Open your feet to yes, ma'am. Put this hand out. This hand behind your back. Open up your feet. Student creed number one. Stay with me. Go. I must develop myself in a positive manner and avoid anything that will reduce my mental growth and physical health. Take this hand, grab your belly, step back with this leg into a strong middle block while bending your back knee. Good work. Awesome. Student cream number two, go. I must develop self-discipline in order to bring out the best of myself and others. You're going to take your front leg, take a giant step back, bend your knee into a straight arch. Nice. Student cream number three, go. I must Use what I learned in class constructively and defensively and never be abusive to my fellow being. Take both hands, bring them up. You're going to take a giant step forward to a double chop. Bring both hands back, double punch. Take this hand, put it up by your temple, do a downward hand motion. Go to student green number four. Say, this is a black belt school. You're going to grab that, say we are motivated. You're going to grab the high block low block to be dedicated. One quest to be our best male. Really quickly, 10 fast jumping jacks. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hands up. Open up your feet. Obviously, who can do the most jump squats in 10 seconds? Going down super low and jumping up as high as they can. 10 seconds. Go. Who's looking awesome? Let's see. Amazing, Colin. He's moving fast. Nice swim. Awesome, Dominic. Let's see. Five, four, three. Keep it up, buddy. Two, one. And time. Now you're going to follow me. You're going to put both hands out like this. Open up your feet. We're going to do a different kind of squat. So your job, you're going to bring your feet close together. Then you're going to bend down and you're going to make like a a letter a circle with your hands. You're going to squat down and you're going to make a circle with your hands. After that, you're going to jump back up with your hand down. <laughs> That's the squat. So you bring your feet together, squat down, make a circle, and jump back up. One squat. You're going to do these squats as many as you can. Go! Your goal is to get super low to the ground, just like a D. He's looking awesome right now. You got to bend your knees. Try and keep your back nice and straight. Go a little lower, Psalm. Yeah, that was a good one, buddy. Keep your back straight, Christian. Look up. Four, three, two, one, and top. Put both hands on your face. Really quickly, all I want to see is keeping your hands up. Just jump forward and back. That's all you can do. Forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. Keeping your hands super up by your face. Who's moving fast? Faster than Colin. Nice, Ashlyn. Keep going, keep going. Awesome, Gabe. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. That's the best you do to get the hats in this. You have your hands up. Every time I jump forward, I'm going to do a right front kick. Whenever I jump back, left front kick. Forward, right, back, left. And then keep on going. Keep 
Give me a hands up. Go. Make sure the kick is awesome. Don't rush the kick. Kick super high. Keep going. Make sure you're moving fast. Nice, Ashlyn. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Now you have your hands up. Just drop it side to side. Left, right, left, right. Nice. Keep going, keep going. Try to be faster than the game because right now I'm moving the fastest. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one at a time. Now every time I jump to one side, I'm going to do the punch on the same side that I jump to. So if I jump to the left, I'm going to do a left punch. If I jump to the right, I'm going to do a right punch. Jump to the left, left punch, jump to the right, right punch. And then keep on going. You guys look like you're dancing. <laughs> keep going, keep going. There nice you go, time. Ashlyn. Dominator, Dominic. Nice, Gabe. Saul, don't fall on the ground, man. Keep going, keep going. Four, three, two, one, and time. Now here comes the challenge. Before the challenge, all I want to see is you guys can jump. In a square. So you're going to jump just like you're making a ball. So you're going to jump forward this way, this way, this way. So you're jumping into the corners of the square. You're going to make a square with your feet, jumping in a square. Go for it. I'll just adjust that for now before we get to the challenge. Nice. Four corners of a square. Everyone seems to have it. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. So now, just like how you did how you were jumping in a square, you're going to do that, but as you keep in punches. So you have to remember what you did before. So you remember, every time I jump forward, I do the right kick. Every time I jump to the left, I do the left punch. I jump back, I do the left kick. Then I jump this way, I do this punch. So you're going to remember what you did with the other ones, but do it while jumping in a square. That's the challenge. Try your best. Go. Who has, like, a really awesome memory? You got it, you got it, you got it. Nice, Eddie. With this one, you can take your time. Just nice kick, punch. Gabe. Strong and the kick's really awesome. There you go, Christian. Keep those hands up, buddy. Good song. Good, 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 good. I like what I'm seeing, guys. You're working hard. It's going to help out in today's class. Today's class is going to be a fun but challenging class, so keep pushing. Right side elbow strikes. Two. Three. So I'm gonna switch elbows. Four. Yeah, and really turn into it. Whoosh.
Nice. Let's see who's going to be the new student of the week. Four. Who's going to win the super secret Five. prize? Ooh. Six. <laughs> you got it, Adi! I think you can do it. Jack. That was a good face, man. <laughs> you have 20 seconds. You got it, Dominic. Keep your hips down low. You too, Colin. You want to make sure your back is nice and straight. Dom's moving fast. He looks like he wants to get stronger today. Go a little bit lower, Som, and bring your hands closer. Your hands should be right underneath your shoulders. Otherwise, that happens. And then you fall. <laughs> There you go, Gabe. He hasn't stopped. You got it, Ashley. Six. Good, so much better, buddy. Four, three, two, one, and time. Look for your feet. Now open up your feet. Shape open your feet. Open up your feet even more. Go all the way down to your split. This is when you can relax. Who can go down super well? Strong ten count. Go. Nice, Adi. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can go lower, Ashlyn. Five, ten. Oh, look at that. Stand up. Oh, no. Who can do it? Who can do it? Who can do it? Stay low. Stay low. You got to use your hands, Ashlyn. Yes, <laughs> Shake your body out. Put both hands out. Feet close together. Step. Step forward. Hands go. All right, team. I want you guys to grab your commas and come right back. Go for it. I'm just going to do this. Cool. Oh, no. All right, guys. So we're going to review some comma strikes, some really cool flips, and then I got some a fun challenge for you guys that's going to help you guys out with your body control. And if you are learning how to do a backflip, this is going to help you guys later on. So, this I want you to do. Let's do some comma stuff. So, both hands in chamber, open your feet, left hand out. Let's see forward strikes on my count. When you guys do your commas, you want to make sure you're striking your shoulder level. So, I don't want to strike down, and I also don't want to strike up. I want to go straight through, just like that. So, you're going to go straight forward on my count. So, let's see. This hand's out, this hand in chamber, forward strikes on my count. I want to see who's going to look nice and strong, who's going to be a comma master. What? Don't forget those nice little heels. Two. Three. Got to be faster and dashy. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. So let's see both hands back. Let's see twin strikes. So now I want you guys to really use your shoulder muscles. Push both hands out and pull right back. Try not to make any extra movements when you guys do this. Hands in chamber. Let's see it. One. And back. Two. And back. Good, Dominic. Three. Back. Let's see a little bit more power, Colin. Four. Back. Let's see who's moving the fastest. Five. And back. Now I want to see twin strikes into your horse stance nice and strong and lock out that stance. Let's see it. One. Who has the best Deep stance. Move? And back. Two. And back. Remember, the only leg that should move is my left leg. Three. Nice, D. Four. And back. You want to lock out those arms nice and straight. Last one said, best one, ma'am. I don't believe you guys. Some of you guys are going like, best one, ma'am. You look like you're like ready for a nap. 
Aren't you guys ready to learn how to do a backflip today? Say, best one, ma'am! There we go, and five! Yeah. Knees bend, hold it there, lock out those elbows. Let's see who's got it the best. Nice, Psalm. Back straight, knees bent, should look like Gabe, should look like Colin. Bend knees a little bit more, Ashlyn. A little bit more, I know you can go low. A little bit. Yes, right there, good job, Ashlyn. Hold it, good, Dominic, five, four, let those legs burn, three, two, one, time. Let's get on your feet, there. yes, ma'am. Let's get hands up, open your feet, say, raise dance. I wanna see your comma combination number one. So if you guys are new to BBT2, then you might not remember this. If you do know this, awesome, pick it up, make it sharp. This way we can move on to the next combination. So I'm gonna show it to you guys first, and then I'm gonna break it down and tell you guys how to do it. So this is how it looks. Just like that. So this is how you do it. I'm gonna take my left hand, I'm gonna grab over my ear just like this, my left leg steps forward, and I do a chop strike in my front stance. Then I'm gonna grab again with the left hand, my left leg steps to the left, I'm in my front stance again, facing the side, chop strike. Then I go back. So that's the whole comma combination number one. Let's break it down to two steps. So when I say one, left hand grab, left leg steps, chop strike into a deep front stance. You guys know the rule. If I could see my toes in my front stance, I gotta bend my knee more. If you can see your toes, you gotta bend your knee. If you can't see your toes, that's how you know you got a good front stance. So let's see, when I say one, step forward, chop strike. When I say two, step to the left, chop strike. Let's break it down, ready? And one, bend that knee. I wanna see deep stances. Now grab, step to the left, two, and back. Grab, step forward, chop strike. One. Grab, step to the left. Two. And back. One more time with me, then I want you guys to practice this on your own. Grab, step forward, chop strike. One. Grab, step to the left, chop strike. Two. And back. Practice that on your own. I want to see you guys do the whole thing. And back. Go! Don't break anything. <laughs> I'm looking for the student who doesn't have deep stances, powerful strikes, a scary face. Deshi only did this combination three times and I'm already sweating. So you guys better be working hard. Let me see it. Kristen, just make sure your hand stays all the way. There you go, Adi. Adi's rocking it right now. Good job, man. Who else is looking awesome? Dominic, step forward with your left leg. Yes, much better, buddy. Nice, Psalm's looking good too now. Adi, you got the competition, man. Who's gonna have a better stance? Who's gonna have the best stance? Good, five, four, three, two, one, and time. Okay, so now let's move on to comma combination number three. We're only gonna focus on the left side combinations for now. Next week, we will focus on the right side combination. So comma combination number three is fairly simple. It's a one move combo. So yet again, I'm gonna show it to you guys, then it's gonna be your turn to try and beat me. Good luck, I don't know if you guys can. So this is comma combination number three. That's the whole thing. <laughs> so what happens is my hand, my left hand's gonna come up to my temple. I wanna get my elbow pointed behind me just like that. The reason is, it gives me a lot more rotation and a lot more power in my strike. Then from here, this hand is gonna turn in as I turn my palm towards me and give myself a little bit of a muscle, just like that. As this hand's coming forward in front, my left leg steps forward into my fighting horse stance, just like this. And that's comma combination number three. So let's break it down step by step. When I say one, your left leg's gonna step forward, knees bent into your fourth stance. I'm sorry, into your horse stance. Two, inward chop, just like that. You wanna get the blade facing up and your thumb facing you. One, just like that. Let's see, hands up, ready? Step forward into your uh, fighting horse stance. Let's see, one, deep stance, and chop. Two, 
And back. Right into that ready stance. Hands come up. Step forward. One. Land into a deep four stance. And chop. Two. And back. Ready? Hand come up. Now when I say go, do the whole thing. Let's watch. Let's see. Dominic. Show us how it's done. Go, buddy. Nice. And right back. Let's see how it's going for it. When I say go, the whole thing. Nice and strong. Good luck trying to beat Dashi. I know if you guys can do it. Hands come up and go. Stand back. Hands come up. Let's see. And go. Good, Psalm. You should have the other leg. You should use should the other hand, buddy. So switch your feet. Your feet were fine. It's this hand. So if this leg is stepping forward, if this leg's in front, this hand does my chop. Okay, so let me see. Go for it, buddy. So start with your feet side to side. That's your problem. Yes, and now step forward, bam, and land it in. Much better, so I'm, and back. 30 seconds, practice that nice and easy. Yeah, nice and strong. Pretend you're chopping a piece of paper in half. Go. Awesome. Nice, Christian. Just bend your knees a little bit more. I want to see like a good stance. Nice. Deep stances. I'm looking for that student of the week. We didn't have a student of the week in this class yet. We had a student of the week from Face of Kids, from Little Dragons. I want a student of the week from this class. Who's going to take it from everyone? And this week is on, this one's a fun one. This reward's gonna be a cool one. Tight chambers. I don't want to just leave my hand out there. <laughs> Let it hang. Glue to your side. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right. So before we move on to the fun comma stuff like this, let's review our comma combination number one. And comma combination number two, number, I'm sorry, three, with a fun game. So this is what's going to happen. I'm going to call out either one or three. Your job is to do the correct comma combination. So if I call out one, you do comma combination number one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then back. If I call out three, you do the correct comma combination. Oh, yeah. Just like that. Make sense? Let's see who's going to get all of them correct. Who is not going to make a mistake? If you do make a mistake, is that okay? Yeah, it happens. We're all human. We all make mistakes. I want you guys to shrug that one mistake off and come right back into it. Don't worry about it. If you make a mistake, I've made plenty of mistakes, especially with commas. So don't worry about it. I want you guys to keep going, keep pushing through. So let's see. Ready, stance? I want to call out either one or three. Your job is to do the correct comma combination and be the first one. Don't let anyone beat you. Ready? And three. Which one is it? Yes, everyone got it. Back. Three. Good. Back. Let's see. One. Good, Gabe. He was the first one. Back. Three. Close. Some of you guys went this way. <laughs> you had to go around that way. Back. Close, Dominic, so not this way. This hand has to come this way and across. Like that. Back. Let's see. One. Good. Colin got it. Back. One. Back. Three. Close. Three, three. 
and time. All right, guys, so let's move on to some fun comma stuff. Um, did we do the wrist roll with you guys? Did I teach you guys how to do the wrist roll? So that is this, when I roll the comma in my wrist. Did I teach you guys how to do that yet? Give me the thumbs up if you got it. Thumbs down if you have never learned that before. Thumbs down? Okay. So did you guys want to learn the wrist roll? I believe we went over the toss with you guys, right? I did the toss with you? Yeah? Okay. Did you guys want to learn the... I'm going to turn, I turn to the side because it's easier to see in the camera. Do you guys want to learn the wrist roll or my favorite roll, which is the finger roll? I roll it around my finger. Which one do you guys want to do? So put, the thing, put one up if you want to do the wrist roll. You're going to put two up if you want to do the finger roll. We got some ones. One, one, one. And one. So mostly ones. We'll start with the wrist roll, and then maybe next week we can go on to the finger roll. If you can get the wrist roll, the finger roll is a is a little bit harder than the wrist roll. So the wrist roll is a good setup into it. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it really quick, and then I'm going to I'm going to break it down for you guys to do. Actually, I've done this. You have seen me do this so many times, so I don't need to really break it down. I don't really need to show it. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to put the comma in one hand. You don't really need the other one, so you can put it down. You can put it in your belt so you don't lose it, anything like that. So we're going to start off. I want you guys to grab the comma down at the bottom. I know we never do this, but this puts more weight at the top of the comma, and it makes it easier to roll in my hand. So the first step is I'm actually using my wrist is doing the roll. So if you guys can do um, figure eights with the with the nunchuck. This is basically the same thing with the comma. So I'm going to start it off making big movements. I'm going to take the back of the comma, bring it to my shoulder. One, just like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let go of the comma and hold it, pinch it in between my hand with my thumb and my hand here. Now I'm going to flick my wrist forward and take the tip of the comma, point it down. Two. That's all I want you guys to get good at. So one, two, one, two. This grip is what makes this wrist roll so easy. If you could do this grip, you can do the wrist roll. Got 10 more seconds. I know it's weird, but this is how I learned how to do my wrist roll. Five, four, good, Ashlyn. Three, that's it, Colin. Two, and one. So now we're going to add one more step to this. So now we brought our comma back. Let's see everyone try it. So bring your comma back. One. You're going to point it down. Two. Now I'm going to take my pinky and I'm going to turn it this way towards this side over here. My pinky is going to turn this way and get my palm to the sky. That's three. Just like that. So now we're going to do it again. One, two, three. So all I do is I turn my hand. This is all I do. So add that to your steps. If you can have, do all three steps super easy, you can go one, two, three. The next step is to make it flow. So do the whole thing. As it's going down, I turn my hand. That's the ultimate step. If you can do this, you're halfway to your wrist roll. So I'm don't do that, man. Their string might break. So get your palm to face up. So one, two. Yes. That's all you're gonna do, Song. That's. Um, one, you hold it in two, between, like, your three. thumb and your pointer finger. Yep. Just let it hang. So I want my hand open, so I can give myself a high five. That's basically what you want to do. Let's see, Christian. Good. Point it forward more before you roll. Because you want to make a full circle. Straight down and then back. So, Colin, I'm not holding it like this. I'm taking my thumb and I'm pinching it 
in between my hand. So not like this. I'm not using my pointer finger to hold it. My thumb is gluing it here and my fingers are straight like this. Nice game for making it look easy. And time. How do we feel with these three steps? One, two, three. Do we feel good? Do we feel okay? Do we feel bad? We feel pretty good. Okay. We feel eh. All right, cool. So if you feel eh, the next part will probably make a little bit more sense. So now we're going to complete the full circle because to do the wrist roll, we have to do a full circle. So now we did here. We got one. We point it down two. We rolled our wrist over three. Now I'm going to bring the comma to my shoulder. Four. And my elbow's down. And now I'm going to swing it forward. Five. Then you made a full circle. So one, two, three, four, five. This whole time my elbow stays exactly where it, got, where it is. I don't move my elbow up because if I move my elbow up, I'm not able to make a full circle. My elbow stays where it is. My wrist is what's doing all the work. That's why it's called the wrist roll because your wrist is rolling. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect, Steve. So Colin, make sure you're not holding it with this finger. This finger is not grabbing the comma. You see it? I don't want that. I want this. My fingers, all my fingers are straight, and my thumb is holding on to the comma. So let me see, Colin, let me see it. Hold it up. Good, yes, that's exactly how it is. My finger does not grab. If it grabs, it makes it hard for me to spin my comma. I got to let it swing. So keep your wrist straight for now. We're straight, so one, like you're giving me a high five. Let me see it. Give me a high five, Colin. Come on, dude, high five. <laughs> you missed. Come on. <laughs> Good. Now you're going to point it down. Two, and I'm still holding it with my thumb. So don't, so let go of this hand, this finger. Yes. Spray, you want to turn your palm to the sky. Three. Good, and your comma, the blade should be facing forward. So be facing the camera. Yes, and it still be down. So right now it's like this, Colin. I want it down. So upside down. And instead of it facing forward, the tip, I want the end of the comma going up to this guy. So the part that's facing you, this part, the, bo the bottom, should be facing up. Yes, and now bring this to the shoulder. That's four. So all I do is I take my hand and I turn it in. Yep. And now I, I'm going to swing it forward. Five. Yep. And that's the whole thing. One. Two. And now turn your palm up. Three. So the other way, Colin. Yes. Four. So keep your elbow tight. So go from go here, go back here. And all you do is I bring my hand to my shoulder. That's it. But you the this part is going behind you. I don't want this. I want this part, the blade to touch my shoulder. I want it flat against my shoulder. So your hands to your ear. I want your hand to your shoulder. Lower it. So make it a little bit lower. Yup. And now the tip should be facing me. Your, the end of your comma is facing behind you. You want the tip facing you, facing me. So that's this part. I want this part. So not, not the blade, Colin. I want the end of the comma, the wooden part. Yes, and then you bring it forward. 
Yes, just got to keep that blade facing forward. One, two, three, four, five. Get that down. Then you have the wrist roll. If you have the wrist roll, choke up on the comma in the middle and then practice the wrist roll from the middle. Because then you could do your comma combination number three. Whoosh, boom, right into it. Make it look cool. The wrist roll is hard. So if you have a hard time with it, don't worry about it. Good. If you have the wrist roll like Gabe, do the wrist roll into the toss. Yeah. So that's when the part down, when you finish it, you slap it down. That's what helps you to throw the comma. And straight up. Yep. One, two. That she makes it look easy. Yeah. There you go, Gabe. Nice. Let's see, Psalm, what you got? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you got it, man. Just got to make it a little bit more smooth. With no breaks in between. Then you got it, buddy. Go for it. Nice, Ashlyn. Just remember, you want to go forward, go down more. And that's how you get that wrist roll. Close, Colin. So don't turn your hand. You don't want to get the back of your hand facing me. I want the front of your hand to face me. The part where it's like, it's like you gave me a high five. You want to do a high five like this, do you? No? <laughs> Otherwise, that would be a really weird high five. <laughs> like that. If you want to make the wrist roll even more, I would guess, faster, is I like to use my finger and swing it and hit it down. That makes it a little bit faster. Let's see, Christian. Good, Dominic. So close. Of, like this. So try not to twist it, Dominic. Thumb up. Your, um, palm facing up. Yes, Sam. What's your question? I'm sorry. I gotta unmute you. Sorry. One second. What's your question? I don't have to do Go for it, man. Yeah, I told you. You got it. You just gotta make it a little bit faster. So you're going one, two, three, four. You have it. You gotta make it smooth now. It's supposed to be hard. If it was easy, Evan would do the rest roll. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right. So that's something that you guys can go out and practice a little bit. If you guys are watching TV, I know I used to do that. When I'd watch TV, I had one comment in my hand, I would just do it over and over. Just practice. And now just keep going sometimes. And not even care. <laughs> so that is your goal. You guys have something to practice now. So I want you guys to put your commas away. Come right back. I got a fun black belt challenge for you. Go! So I'm going to show you guys something that's going to help you guys get over the fear of doing a back uh, a backflip. So a lot of people, they're scared doing a backflip because one, you're not only jumping up, but you're jumping up and leaning back and going into a full rotation. So first thing I want you guys to do is we're going to start doing a back roll. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit on the ground just like this, fairly simple. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll onto my back. When I do this, I want to try and get my foot to touch all the way behind me. When I do my back roll, my head gets in the way. So what I have to do is I'm going to turn my ear to one shoulder, like I'm doing a shoulder roll, and I'm going to roll over one shoulder. So watch. This is the back roll. Tuck my head. I'm going to drive my feet straight behind me. That's the back roll. And that helps get over the fear of going straight back. So once you get one side, so I rolled over 
this shoulder. Now I want to roll over this shoulder so I get comfortable rolling over both. Do it again. Feet go right behind me. Just like that. That's the back roll. I want you guys to practice on both sides. Go. Make sure you have enough room for this. You okay, Adi? I see you doing this. You good, buddy? You're not okay. What's up? This is new to me, and I'm scared if my head's gonna touch the floor, and my floor is isn't soft. Okay. Do you have a carpet? Yeah. Use the carpet. So, Sam, turn your head to one side so you're going over your shoulder, not your head. You too, Dominic. <laughs> nice, Ashlyn. Let's see it, D. So, turn your head to one side and drive one shoulder straight back like you're in a roller coaster. Dude, you did it. That was awesome. That was great. You made it look easy. Good job. High five. You missed. Come on, dude. Ah, you got me. <laughs> Keep going. Who else got it? So, Psalm, you're still going straight back. So, watch. From here, I'm going to turn this way so you can see a little bit better. I turn my head to one side, and I go straight back, but rolling over this shoulder. Okay? This is a hard one. If you guys have this and you can easily go straight back, I want you guys to now do it standing. So now I'm here. It's the same thing. I'm not going to jump back, though. <laughs> I'm going to lower myself and back roll. Then I stand up and I do the other side. Lower, back roll. Just like that. Go. <laughs> oh no, Colin stuck. <laughs> Colin, remember you're rolling over one side. So you gotta turn your head and drive this one shoulder straight back. Think about getting your hands, Colin. So Colin, think about getting your hand over your shoulder. Like that. You too, so think about getting your hands over your shoulder. Over one shoulder. So Colin, you're going like this, like you're on a roller coaster. Get your hands go this way. Cross. Okay? Don't hit the chair. <laughs> You're going to break the chair, Colin. <laughs> there you go. Much better, Colin. Let's see it, so. Almost. So you're still. So, so. so let's try this. Maybe instead of bring both feet back, bring both feet and your hands to that one shoulder, okay? So which shoulder are you going over? Are you doing this shoulder or this shoulder? You're doing this shoulder or something? Okay, so you're here. Instead of bringing both feet back, bring both feet over this shoulder along with your hand. So I'm gonna go here and bring my hands back and my feet over that shoulder, okay? Yes, there you go, much better, so. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. So we are out of time. The next step would be able to do a something, uh, it's a kind of like a capoeira move. It's called the makaku. So I start here, my feet nice and bent. I take my hand, I put it behind me. And now what I want to do is I'm going to jump back, bring my feet and my hand over my shoulder. So I go here. Just like that. That's called the makaku, and it helps you guys go over. We're going to do that on Wednesday. So don't worry about it. Practice your backwards rolls and your wrist roll with your commas. So we have a few quick announcements. This whole week, we are having some 
fun with you guys, so don't miss this week. We're going to be doing the backwards rolls. We're going to do, um, hopefully, help you guys get with that, the Bakaku, which helps go over the fear of going backwards. Maybe we can do some shoulder rolls, some cartwheels, some handstands. I also do want to take class outside sometime. At one point, I do want to take class outside, so we can have some fun outside, run around, maybe do some flying kicks in the air, so you guys have some room to run around. So I will let you guys know when we're going to take class outside. So make sure you guys look out for that. And then don't forget, this whole week, we're also be looking for a new student of the week. This week reward is I'm going to personally design a board, a wooden board for the new student of the week with their name on it and everything. You guys are going to come pick it up, and you can break it any way you want at your house. You can throw it up and do a punch. You can do a spinning hook kick. You can do a tornado kick. You can do a side kick. Any way you want to break that board, it's up to you guys. So if you want to be the student of the week and earn a wooden board you can break, then you got to be student of the week and give your best. Sound good? Let's get up on your feet. Put your arms out. Snap to man. Bow forward. Us. Bow to each other. Us. You guys are all dismissed. Let's get a team high five. So everyone, you're going to high five the camera. Don't break it. Ready? And go for high five. Boom. <laughs> you guys are all done. I'll see you Wednesday for your class. Bye, guys.